recording this video during Hispanic Heritage Month. As an African-American who is learning Spanish because I just love the language and I'm interested in the culture, I wanted to share with you an experience I had with a Latin pop superstar who turned out to be a really, really cool guy. So for some reason, I've always been interested in Latin culture and music. And when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, I gravitated to the music of John Cicada. I'm not exactly sure why, it's just something about his music spoke to me, especially his debut album that came out, I believe, in 1992. I love that um, first single of his, Just Another Day. It's so dramatic and uh, it just speaks to me. And there's some upbeat songs on that album as well, like the song, Do You Believe in Us? So I just loved that album and played it all the time. And so John Cicada is Afro-Cuban and um, he's very um, confident in saying, I'm a black man, but I also acknowledge my Cuban roots. And of course, there's a conversation going on about Afro-Latinos and whether they're accepted by the broader Latino community and in society in general. And you know the fact that should they have to choose between being black and being Latino or are both of those cultural aspects of their identity uh, things that they should not have to de deny and should be able to embrace. That's not for me to say, but I bring that up because I had a chance to interview John Cicada. So one of my first jobs was working for an African-American newspaper in my hometown of Columbus, Ohio, called the Call and Post. It's the oldest and largest African-American newspaper in Ohio. And when John Cicada brought his tour to Columbus in 1994, I got to interview him over the phone. And as I said, I've always been curious about um, Latin American culture and music. So I actually asked John Cicada during our interview, I asked him to sort of explain the concept of what an Afro Latino is. And, you know, he could have gotten angry and frustrated and said, oh, you're supposed to be a professional and, you know, you should know that or, it's, you know, stop asking me personal questions. But he was extremely patient and explained his heritage to me. And I really appreciated that, that he took the time to educate me. And so I actually went to the concert and uh, got to meet him afterward. Me and a couple of other reporters from a, a separate African-American newspaper called The Communicator, these two young women and I, we were all young, you know, what they call cub reporters, reporters who were just starting out in our careers at the time. And so we stood uh, at the stage door at the Palace Theater down in downtown Columbus. And eventually John Cicada came out and these other reporters, um, I have to say, they were much more aggressive and forward than I am. I'm kind of a shy person, but you know, I wanted to meet John Cicada in person and didn't know how to go about it, even though we had done a phone interview. But uh, when John Cicada came out, these two other reporters sort of invited themselves and me included on John Cicada's tour bus. And he was totally, totally cool. He just said, hey, hey come on, come on up to my tour bus and let's hang out for a while and talk. So. We sat with John Cicada at a little table in his tour bus uh, with his background singers and ate pizza. I remember it was pepperoni pizza. So he was very down to earth. Um, and I remember one of his background singers is an R&B singer named Donna Allen. And I remembered her because I was a teenage couch potato. I watch, used to watch BET's Video Soul with Donnie Simpson every weekend when I would go over my grandparents. And my grandparents had cable. They were sort of kind of ahead of the curve. And getting cable when still a lot of people didn't necessarily have cable TV. So I would vegetate in front of the TV set every weekend. And Donna Allen's song Talk was a video that I remembered being played when I was in high school. And I told Donna this and she said, she was just over the moon. She said, oh, I think I'm in love. Uh, because I also mentioned that I knew that she had a song on the Fatal Beauty soundtrack. Fatal Beauty was a movie starring Whoopi Goldberg uh, in which she played a cop. And so I had a great time hanging out with John Cicada and Donna Allen and these other reporters. And that is a night I will always cherish. And I have to say gracias to John Cicada for being so cool and so down to earth and accessible. If you like this video and you would like to see more of them, please subscribe, like this video and share it. Thank you for watching.